Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking you through my February favourites. Skincare, makeup, there's one candle and a bit of bath and body. It's kind of just a general beauty one. Herman is literally, he's no, nowhere to be seen. I've been setting up for half an hour. As soon as I start filming, he creeps in. But he just wants to kind of sniff about and he wants to also um, basically play with all the products that I have out. Oh, there's a bird, did you see that? And then once he's in the shot and had a little stroke, he'll be off. What are you staring at? Is he staring at himself? I think he was just staring at himself in the camera. I think it's sleep time for Hermie. Oh my God, he's attacking me. Right, hair everywhere. First up, I'm gonna take you through like the more boring stuff probably is the bath and body. It was London Fashion Week a few weeks ago. So that entails a lot of early mornings, late nights, drinking, eating at weird times. So I was feeling a little bit sorry for myself, I guess I didn't get ill, but I was just a bit tired afterwards, feeling a bit like just a bit gross and I needed to kind of like, bring health back to myself. God, I'm talking some shit, right? And also my muscles get really sore because I'm lugging around a huge heavy suitcase. So this was a little life saviour for me. The Mio Liquid Yoga. It's a basically a posh Radox. It soothes tired, kind of achy muscles and it just re-energises you. And it just really is a lovely comforting smell. It's also good if you're a bit congested and it acts as a decongestion. So it's also good if you've got a cold. It's like a green, it looks pretty disgusting. But I really like it and I don't use it like every night or anything. It's just for when I'm a bit achy. Um, so that's my first bath body. Next up is something else I've been using a lot when I've been having my baths is the Aromatherapy Associates Deep Relax Candle. This I've used and had for quite a while. I only use this in my bathroom just because of the smell of it. It's like spa in a jar. Oh my god, did I just say that? It's very herby almost. It's not like a diptyque candle. I think they're about £36 now. Absolutely love Aromatherapy Associates if you didn't know already. If you read my blog or have followed me for any amount of time, you will definitely know that. And that brings me to my next product. The Aromatherapy Associates Support Equilibrium. This oil, now I'm not one of these people who's like been sent this and like never used it. I actually just bought this because I ran out of my old one. If you're not familiar with Aromatherapy, if you're not familiar with the Aromatherapy Associates bath and shower oils, you can shower in them, but I think they're better for baths. They come like this. They're really, really concentrated, potent, first pressed essential oils honestly work like i started using them probably about seven years ago i've never been sent any of them i'm not saying i want to be sent anything i'm so happy to buy this product it's expensive these are 40 pounds but they honestly work they hit the bloodstream and they make you feel however they want to make you feel there's all different ones you could get ones for relaxing ones for helping you sleep ones for kind of uplifting you all these different ones i've got most of them and support is the one i've been using most at the moment hence why i've just bought another one one i will never let run out is is the deep relax that's the first one i ever got into when i um got into that's the first one i ever bought from a Rome therapy associate and since then i've always used them support equilibrium is a really good one it's like a hug in a bottle so it's a really nice one just to kind of soothe your mind and your body rose frankincense and geranium i initially i remember i didn't like this but now it's one of my favorite ones but this is just the one i'm using at the moment constantly if you never bought into aromatherapy associates and you're not quite sure honestly buy the deep relax one deep relax one is probably the best one to go for that is the one it literally if you have a bath before bed and you want to sleep really well it knocks you out it's a really really good one it sounds literally like i'm a salesperson right now for aromatherapy associates but i promise you i'm not <laughs> next up is this from crabtree and evelyn 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 i say um, it's the pear and magnolia night hand therapy it's 
really good it's quite a new product for me crabtree and evelyn is something i remember when i was younger in my mum's bathroom so i've got this kind of attachment to it anyway and i haven't used it for a long time but i really like it it's a really traditional brand i love their bath and body this hand cream is perfect. Last month, I think I featured in my favourite something for my hands. I've got really bad dry skin cuticles on my hands and I always need to use something nighttime and throughout the day. And this one I've just started using. It smells lovely. It smells like I can smell the pear in it. It's really nice. It's not too greasy. And at the moment, it's beside my bed. Like it goes almost not matte, but it goes really kind of nice and non-greasy soon as you put it in on in either way this is a great great product and if you've got dry hands as you know sometimes it's not convenient to be putting on creams in the day depending on what you do because you get quite greasy so or i always like an overnight treatment as well it's kind of like a double pronged effect that one's really really good for me herman oh the door's going i've got to go and see who that is it was for alan next door how annoying is that? Nothing for me. Okay, for skincare, there's two products I've really been liking. One is the Kat Berkey Revitalizing Serum. Um, Kat Berkey is recently, I think, reasonably, sorry, new to the UK. I think it only came a, is it a couple of years ago. American brand, I believe she's a facialist um, and she's quite famous for a vitamin C cream which I've used and I like that as well, but I prefer, this was kind of my favorite product I've tried from the range. It's a typical serum form as it's like a very kind of light fluid gel. It's really, it just works on my skin. It's energizing, it doesn't break me out. And also I love rose hip seed oil because I'm quite oily combination and a bit breakout. And rose hip seed is apparently good for that. This has cold pressed oils in it as well. So cold pressed oils are more potent, more effective and more good. Also got vitamin C. Uh, vitamin C is one of these ingredients that everyone's like, oh, we've got a stable. Vitamin C, if you don't know, is a really hard product to put into skincare and keep it stable. As in like, if, as soon as you open a lid, it will literally go off or it'll just become inactive and will do absolutely nothing for your skin. I don't know if this is, it says it's a stable form of vitamin C in it. Who knows, but it does wonders for my skin. It just makes me feel really nice and kind of alive I guess and it plumps my skin without making it feel greasy or too heavy and it just I think my skin at the moment is looking okay and I think it might be because of this yeah it's good so this is like a day-to-day -day for me I don't use it at night because I'm still using my oil but that's been a good one for me another face product another skincare product is this one from dr jackson this is his number one cream i think they only do two creams it's quite a boring looking brand and uh, i think a lot of people might be put off by that like all his um the uh, this is a small size cream the larger creams are put into let me just see oh i have got some here the big size one is like in an apothecary style the packaging looks like this I actually quite like it this very kind of unisex um, old school looking kind of jar um, and the only problem is is I don't know if you can see but you literally have to scoop out the um, skin cream which isn't great but I just quite I just like it it comes with a little scoop as well anyway I'm yabbering on but what I'm saying is that's the smaller version basically the small size you can get in tubs if you want to give it a try these ones are 30 mil I think these ones are 50 or 60 mil and this is obviously a bit easier to use it's really nice it's not it's not fancy skincare it's just they use really good pure ingredients I think most of it's certified organic but I don't know if they've got an eco cert no they haven't it's made in the UK which I also like I believe he's like an actual doctor who lives in the Cotswolds for some reason I quite like that it's nice to support local brands and also it's quite a small brand okay let's move on to the makeup bits first up is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. This is like a rediscovery. I've had this actually quite a while. And I think the reason I kind of 
forget about in the winters because it's quite a dark colour. I've got the tan shade, you can see it's really dark, but because it's like a tinted moisturiser, it does sheer down quite a lot, but it's still more of kind of a spring summer colour for me. And because it's like, the weather's getting all nice, I've just started going for slightly lighter bases and I'm kind of tanning a little bit, so this colour's working for me a bit better, but it feels lovely and light on your skin. Um, is he wanting to come up and see this? And this has got a lot of, from what I can remember, there's quite a good technology in here. <laughs> <laughs> they encapsulate the pigment with water I think it's something like that um, so it's really cooling hydrating but very very lightweight on the skin um, if you'd like a tint of moisturizer honestly try this one it's beautiful and they do loads of shades in it as well that's a great one for me at the moment this is actually a new product for me um, is the Benefit Stay Don't Stray which is like a over the lid and under the eye primer colour wise it just happens to be a really good colour for me really good for brightening and if you just want that fresh eyelid look and a bit of brightness under the eye if I want a bit more coverage then I use this and then I'll go over with a bit of strong concealer under my eye so yeah I really enjoy using that at the moment you would have seen probably a lot of press about these. These are the Gosh New Liquid Matte Lips. <laughs> what? The Gosh Liquid Matte Lips. These are new for spring, summer. They brought out a huge collection of bits. These were the things that really kind of stuck out to me. They're quite different from any others I've tried in the fact that when you put them on, they almost feel like just a heavily pigmented gloss. And then after about five minutes, they start to kind of dry into this I've had them on for about an hour and a bit now and they still feel, they don't feel completely dry, there's still a bit of texture to them and actually you can see I've just done that and they will come off a little bit but they still stay on without drying the lips but they will transfer I guess a little bit after doing that. I've got on a mixture of these two shades which is the Pink Sorbet and the Candy Floss. I love the Candy Floss kind of is the one I'm wearing most, but today I've just kind of amped it up a little bit with a slightly brighter one. They're really good, they're $8.99. Um, one of the best high street lipstick, lips, lipstick, lipsticks, liquid lipsticks I have tried. Another makeup item is one of my favourite eye pencils and I've just been using it loads at the moment, is the NYX Golden Bronze Eye Slick. Is it an eye slick? Slide on eye pencil, not an eye slick. Where did I get that from? Uh, this colour is so good. If you've got blue or green eyes, honestly, this is a really lovely bronzy. And they're very soft the way they apply and really kind of they give great payoff. And they stay on. I don't think they're waterproof, but they stay on really, really well for me. And I think they're probably about four pounds, three, four pounds, something like that. I think they do quite a lot of shades and they're all metallic in this range. Love that. My favourite brush at the moment is the crown brush. This is from the Rose Contour, Rose Gold Contour range. They do three in a set. This is the smallest of the three and I'm loving this as my concealer brush. I think I featured this on my blog. I don't think it was on here because I've only just started doing it. Um, it's a really good dupe for the Oval 4 from Artis. It's the same kind of size and bundle and it's really good for just under eye concealing and kind of like concealing I guess in general just because of the size of it. Herman's infatuated. You know what? It's because he loves anything like this and also because it's shiny. I'm not giving you the end. At the moment I believe you can only buy them in the set of three but it's still only I think it's about £25 for the three brushes. And they do this as a small one, they do a slightly bigger one that you can use for contouring and the big one I really like for foundation. I hope at some point they start selling them separately because maybe not everyone wants all three brushes but they're really good. I think Herman wants all three. I think Herman wants every single one they've ever made. Last up for makeup. I am in love again with these. So this is a rediscovery. I've used these, this is my kit um, one. These are Stila Convertible Colours. I've used for so many years and I just packed them in my London Fashion Week kit just because I was like, they will come in handy because they're like lip and cheek, just easy cream colours. And I was just using them again and I just fell back in love with them. They're really, really good and they do an array of shades. 
I don't, I've got probably 10. I don't know how many they do now. Actually, I haven't bought one for quite a while, but I'm going to go and check out to see if they've bought out some new colours because they are so lovely. One of my favourite, in fact, two of my favourite ones, Peony is kind of their signature, I think, their best selling one, which is just like that kind of dusky rose tone. This is kind of the colour that suits anyone and everyone, yeah. And it just, because it's a cream colour, it gives a little bit of kind of dew on the skin if you don't want it too flat. And on the lips as well, they're really just nice little kind of stains you can just press on with your fingertip. That is one of my favourite colours. And also this one, Lilium, which is, again, it's a slightly darker version, I think, of the Peony. Is it? I know it's slightly brighter. God, they're quite similar actually. But those are the two I seem to use in my kit all the time and they work on pretty much all skin tones. Whoops. And are great. So that's a rediscovery and kind of falling back in love with the Stila convertible colours. If you've got any you use and like, recommend me some colours. That would be amazing. Although I think I have, like I said, I've got lots of them. But they've probably launched some more colours since. Next up is these little things from DHC. They're blotting papers, old school. They're amazing. These are so good for your handbag. And also you can see I'm quite oily. Don't, I think it doesn't matter which way you put them on, but this is gonna be disgusting. They're just so good if you're oily like me and you don't wanna keep on kind of applying a powder all day. They're just a really quick way to just reduce yee, you see. <laughs> Literally, they're almost like, um, they feel a bit like a soft tracing paper. I don't know how they work, they're kind of magic. I think I might need another one, actually. There's more oil. I've done something really stupid. I've got kind of like the key thing of my monthly favourites, which is the Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar. So I'm just quickly filming uh, and I'll add it in somewhere and it will look really strange. I've been using this like all the time. It's what's on my eyes at the moment. It was kind of the whole point of the video and I missed it out. So you probably know the colours. Um, mattes, shimmers, there's one blue, which actually I don't use. My favourite colour is this one. You can see the orangey one, it's called Peanut peanut butter but I absolutely love this palette it's like my most used one at the moment and I'm probably going to do some kind of tutorial on it I've got the original one as well and that's got more kind of purples in it but for some reason at the moment I'm really really liking the semi-sweet chocolate bar so I just had to quickly film this just to get it in at some point okay lastly I'm going to just show you two products that I didn't get on with so well first up is this mascara now, I would have just uploaded my Superdrug haul, which was actually a few weeks ago, but I've only just got around to editing it and I'm gonna put it up the day before this one. I bought this only a couple of weeks ago and I was very confused by it because I thought it was a double-ended kind of thing. Sorry, that noise is coming. Um, and it's got a really small kind of wand and for me, sometimes these really thin wands work really well, but it's really not working for me. I find it, you can't get separation. I like my lashes quite fluttery and separate. For some reason, this was just making them quite clumpy and I couldn't, even though it looks like it could really kind of separate nicely, it was just making them kind of clump together a little bit and I couldn't get really much volume or anything from it. So that was a, just a complete fail for me. This is the Falsies Push Up Angel Mascara not for me and then just one more product that i didn't get on with as well as i had hoped or thought i would it's not a bad product it's a really hyped up product everyone raves about it it's a highlighter i actually bought it probably six months ago and i've never got around to trying it and i was really excited to try it it's this one the mary lou by the balm I just, I guess it's just one of those hyped up products that everyone seems to really like and I really didn't think that much of it. Maybe it's because there's so many great highlighters at the moment that this one just, for me, it just didn't do enough. 
I've got the Beckish uh, Jaclyn Hill palette and in comparison this one I mean it's probably good if you like it's really subtle it's going to go into my kit for sure because this will definitely come in handy it's just not personally for me it's not bright or like glowy enough it's just too subtle for my preference yeah anyone else think the same about Mary Lou am I being a bitch about Mary Lou I like the packaging but I think this is actually the first product I tried from the barn so I was a bit like oh because everyone really likes it but Mary Lou no, I think I've just broken it anyway. So that is my roundup of favourites for February. Lots of lovely makeup and a few bits that weren't so good. Please subscribe and leave me any comments. So I'll see you very soon. I think I'm going to be doing a brow tutorial next. In fact, I am. I filmed a brow tutorial. I'm going to be editing it soon and then hopefully that will come out in a week or so. So thank you for watching, bye guys.